Bitter blast reminding us of an ice crisis in Avon Lake. Last winter, ice from Lake Erie stopped water intake, cutting off water to customers all over the region. Paul Kiska is live on 5 now to explain what's being done to stop that from happening this year. Well, when you have a half dozen cities and portions of two counties counting on you for their water supply, you think it would take some high-tech solutions to keep those water lines from freezing up again. So far, that hasn't been the case. Just a little creativity. The water intake lines here at the Avon Lake Water Treatment Plant are 2,000 feet out there in Lake Erie. Those lines froze shut last January, cutting water to nearly a quarter of a million people in Lorraine and Medina counties. You're responsible for water to more than 200,000 people. What was your first thought when the pipes froze up last winter? Our first thought was how can we keep our customers keeping water? Things get thrown at us all the time. You know, whether it's a, the power outage from, from all that time ago, whether it's a, a, an issue such as harmful algal blooms, or whether it's the ice. These pictures taken by Avon Lake reveal water plant workers brought in three portable lines. Divers cut holes in the ice and water was running again within 24 hours. Since that ice crisis, pressurized air lines were moved closer to the intake valves to blow ice crystals away. In a sense, like a hand dryer blowing water off your hands. We have larger openings. These screens, actually made of wood and plastic that keep large debris out, were widened to make it harder for ice to form, blocking the intake valves. How confident are you these pipes won't freeze up again? Frazzle ice is always going to happen on Lake Erie, so it's our job to minimize the chances our customers are affected. And so far, fixing this problem has cost only several thousand dollars, but a long-term plan to create an emergency backup system by interconnecting with the Illyria City water lines, well, that could cost millions of dollars. Live in Avon Lake tonight, Paul Kiska, News Channel 5. All right, Paul. And last March, the same thing happened to the Illyria Water Department when their water lines froze. That's another reason Illyria and Avon Lake want to connect so they can offer each other an emergency backup water supply.